Ernest Renan said, Never has anyone been less a priest than Jesus. Never a greater enemy of forms which stifle religion under the pretext of protecting it. By this we are all his disciples and his successors. By this he has laid the eternal foundation. By this he has laid the eternal foundation stone of true religion. This is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ the impact he has on the world, and the salvation he offers for all people. This is episode number 18. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and to begin to live your life according to his will and his word. Our Just Jesus passage from the Word of God today is Isaiah 7.14, which reads, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Our featured Just Jesus quote today is from John Pulsford. He said, Christ is in all his redeemed, as the soul of their soul, the life of their life. He is the pitying heart and the helping hand of God, with every needy, praying spirit in the world. He is the sweet light of the knowledge of God that breaks in upon every penitent heart. He is not only with those who believe in him and love him, but also with those who neither believe in him nor love him, that he may be to them also Jesus their Savior. The Christ of God is in thy heart, waiting and aiming to get to the consent of thy will, that he may save thee. Wherever man is, there also is Christ endeavoring to free him from the law of sin and death by becoming himself the law of the spirit of his life. Holy Father God, we thank you for your Holy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, help us to give him the glory, praise, and honor. Do his name. We thank you for sending him to die on the cross for our sins so that we can be truly set free. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply called their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, the way to joy, the way to peace, and the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Do you want to know the way to all of these blessings? Allow me to show you how. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou you shall be saved. Just believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, that he died for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God on the third day, 
for you and for me and the world so that we can live forever with him. That is with God. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today and he will save your soul. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, please remember, at the end of the day, only one thing matters, and that's Jesus, just Jesus, and nothing else. God bless you.